Before, a conversation with Derek Daniels, who has been living with the impact of a gun in the wrong hands for 29 years. He's been telling his story to hopefully help others avoid the pain he suffered. And tonight, he needs help. I like to uh, I go out to uh, speak to youths about guns, don't play around with guns. I go to schools and everything and try to talk to our youths about, you know, the importance of not playing with guns. Derek Daniels is living with the cruel consequences of gun violence. A couple of friends of mine, well, one of my friends was playing around with a gun, and um, he didn't know it was loaded, and that gun accidentally went off, and I was struck in the neck, which left me paralyzed from the neck down. That was in 1994. He was just 17 years old and a student at Fairfield High School when his entire world changed. But I'm still here. So I got to make the most of it, a uh, second chance of life. I try to avoid people from making the same mistake. In 2004, Habitat for Humanity built him this wheelchair accessible smart home, which allows him some independence. But in December, Daniels had a setback when his van wrecked, and with it, his transportation to and from doctor's appointments. There's a GoFundMe account right now with a goal of $45,000 to help Daniels replace his van. I had um, a, Chevy, a Chevy Express wheelchair accessible van, mm -hmm. and uh, it allows me to get in and out um, with a heavy duty lift that holds up to 800 pounds because my power chair is real heavy. And since um, we um, put the GoFundMe out there, we have raised over $20,000 thus far. With all he's been through, Daniels is optimistic about moving forward and living with purpose. I just thank God that he still had me here. He left me here for a reason. Well, if you would like to help Daniels purchase a van, again, that GoFundMe account is set up with a goal of $45,000. At last check, there was more than $26,000.